sustaining wherever you are, micro adjusting for five breaths. Lengthening the spine, surrendering into whatever experience you're having. And you release, bring one hand to the hip, the other hand to the hip, and gently push back up to that wide-legged standing with a micro bend in the knees. You might bring the hip around and around in some opening hip circles to lubricate the hips with synovial fluid and to also counterbalance some of the triangle work. And following that momentum, turning the left toes this time towards the short side of the mat. Whatever stance feels appropriate for you today. In the morning, personally, I'd have a shorter stance on Trikonasana. So I would do that. I would exhale, spill the pelvic bowl over to the left. Left fingertips gently melt down towards the mat. Right fingertips float up. Straight line from fingertip to fingertip. Shoulders aligned. Gaze can be down, neutral, or up. And for extra heat, you could switch the position of the two fingertips, twisting into your twisted triangle, keeping the core engaged, using a block under the grounding hand if needed. If needed, or if you, if you want to, because you can actually explore different levels of intensity by using props. It just so happens that I'm kind of forgetful and I forget to bring my props when I go to film or in general. So holding your triangle, Trikonasana, your twisted triangle for two more breaths. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, gradually back to center. <laughs> we'll move through few more rounds of goddess pose here. Exhaling, sitting the hips back. You could reach the hands out parallel to the earth for a, sort of a chair-like sensation or a squat. Seeing if you can create a bit of an L shape with your knees angled out, lengthening the spine, and inhale to straighten, fingertips come up. Exhale, bending the knees, sitting back, sending the palms forward. Inhale to straighten, fingertips come up. Alternating that into a fluid movement. Oh yeah. And then, um, bringing the hands back down to the hips, Rolling the shoulder blades up, back, and down a little bit. Let's go into a wide-legged uh, yoga mudra. So you could bring your stance a little closer. Inhale, fingertips out far apart from each other. Exhale, bring your palms together, look forward. Interlacing the fingertips, turning the palms out in front of you. Creating length from the cervical spine all the way to the palms. This is particularly good if you're getting ready to look at screens today. <laughs> Inhale the fingertips back towards your heart and release. Exhaling them wide back out by your side. And on your next exhale again, reaching gently back and around. I'll just rotate to clasp the hands behind you. Shoulder blades follow along for the ride. The feet can be hips width distance apart or more or less. This part could be really up to you. Just checking in with your grip, keeping the shoulder blades placated here, opening the sternum, looking up, 
and feeling that length from the sternum, the center of the chest, to the fingertips. Gently hinging forward now at the hips for a Prasarita Pada Tadasana plus Yoga Mudra fusion, wide legged Yoga Mudra standing. Breathing into the sacrum in the low back, micro bend in the knees if you like. Inhale, straighten the spine. Invite your spine to straighten it just a bit. And exhale, release. Inhale, you might sweep up some, some few inches. And exhale, release. Inhale, connect to your yoga mudra, symbol of yoga posture. Fingers interlaced, shoulder blades relaxed. <sighs> 